former Republican lawmaker turned CEO of Trump media for some reason, Devin Nunes suffered a crushing legal blow recently when a Trump appointed judge, Carl Nichols, the same guy who let Steve Bannon not go to jail for a year and a half. But even Carl Nichols was not moved by Devin Nunes's lawsuit, defamation lawsuit against the Washington post. And this week decided to throw the whole damn thing out. So here's a little backstory on what Devin Nunes has done. As we all know, Devin Nunes loves to sue people, right? He sued the Twitter cow. He sued a bunch of other media outlets. He's lost every case. And I think the last one he had standing was this lawsuit against the Washington post, right? The biggest fish of them all. And he was suing the Washington post over a report from 2017 that said that Devin Nunes is the one who came out and said that Trump tower had been wiretapped by the Obama administration and the Washington post very quickly after that story was published, issued a correction saying, no, sorry, it was not Devin Nunes who said that it was somebody else. So they attributed it to Devin Nunes. Then they said, oh crap, we got it wrong. Here is the correction which for the record is what media outlets are supposed to do when they screw up. And when they do that, by the way, you do not get to sue them for defamation. But Nunes said, screw it. I'm going to do it anyway. I've got Carl Nichols, a Trump appointed judge. He's been so good for conservatives. It's a slam dunk, right? Nope. Here's what Nichols said in his decision. Even in March, 2017, there was significant doubt about certain of Nunez's claims concerning surveillance of the Trump campaign. Although Nunez had not claimed baselessly that the Obama administration wiretapped Trump tower, he did suggest baselessly that he had received his information from a whistleblower and that the Trump white house was not aware of it. So Nunez is the one, according to the judge, like you're saying things that are totally baseless and you're trying to hold the Washington post accountable for baseless accusations. Like, no, you can't, you're not going to do that. And he also of course said, you can't prove any actual malice because they did issue the retraction and correction, which again, technically when you file a lawsuit against a media outlet, like if they, something defamatory, if they say something defamatory about you, you don't immediately just get to file a lawsuit. What you first have to do in almost all of the instances with very few exceptions is you get your lawyer to send them a letter explaining to them that this is false information and they have to be given the opportunity to retract and correct it in the same manner with which the original story was published. So if I say something that's false about somebody in a video here and 200,000 people watch it, I can't just get on Twitter and issue a correction and have 10 people like it. Okay. My YouTube following is much larger than my Twitter following. So that would not count as a proper retraction and correction, but the Washington post didn't even need a letter from Nunez's lawyers to do that. They just did it because they caught their mistake. And at that point, Nunez had no grounds to sue anyway. The fact that again, this has been stewing in the courts for years now is insane. I mean, I imagine the Washington post is about to come back and hit Devin Nunes for their legal fees because it got dragged out for so many years. But what I love about this is that Devin Nunes cannot succeed anywhere he goes, whether it's in filing lawsuits or whether it's in being the CEO of a media company whose stock is going down the toilet. Devin Nunes destroys everything he touches basically. So that's the moral of the story here. If Devin Nunes does something or gets put in charge of something, you can pretty much guarantee it's going to go straight to hell pretty quickly. Hey everybody. I don't know if you've noticed this, but we are closing in on a pretty major milestone here at fair and balanced as we approach 500,000 subscribers but we're not there yet. And we definitely need your support. So if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget like and comment on the videos and share them as widely as possible.